Peep peep poop poop. Pee pee poo poo. Poo. Pee pee poo poo poop. Pee 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 pee. Dog champ. Oh. There we go. So I was saying, pog champs. Oh, the smell of the game. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Lost Time Show with your host, Laura Hicks, Shitposter AI. It is Monday. We are already halfway through May. Can you believe it? Next month is going to be the halfway point of 2023. This year is going by too fast, my taste. As you may have all seen already, I just chose to not have a formal schedule this week. It has not been a good weekend. How well my week turns out is yet to be decided. Yet has yet to be decided, but we will, uh, as they say, hope for the best, expect the worst. But enough about that. I have long since been wanting to get good, as they say, in Guilty Gear Strive, and I'm looking forward to the hopefully uh, update actually fixes this stupid game <laughs> on the 25th. Until then, though, it is still possible to actually get game, game, get matches if you are patient. So we are going to make our way up the tower. See how far we can get. Later on this evening, I might either switch games or I might open up an open lobby for people to play with. It's basically just pretty much an entirely subjective matter of how I'm feeling, how chat's feeling. You know, you know the drill. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. 
Also, I am playing without my headphones for once because my hair is still drying and because it is certainly an experience of all time not playing with headphones. I'm almost starting to wonder if there's an advantage to it, but without the uh, audio cues, it's most likely going to be considered a disadvantage. For now, let's go ahead and do a little bit of practice. See how far we can get in survival before getting knocked. By the way, did you know I installed more mods? Because I totally installed more mods. Check this shit out. I still need to replace Jacko, but for now, her bikini is in season. It is summer. The mod to remove Milia's hat is missing, so I could not use it to combine with the Tifa mod. So instead, I've opted to replace... Melia's outfit entirely. She is also sporting cool glasses. I don't think I'll be switching out of Chip's skin anytime soon. Ryu Hayabasu as Sana as Chip Sana is too cool. Got the Doom guy joining us as well. Raiden as well. Aim our May also has some new avatars, and I've switched up her model. The um, Playboy Bunny costume. Had a good run, but it's now time to try out new things. Still have not replaced this or Zato's skin either, just because I think this uh, Zehanort costume is too good. Butcher the Rock has taken over for Eno. Along with this charming feller with the very large hat. You may have not noticed before, but we rarely fight Bedmans, but... Uh, Delilah now is in her proper uniform. Bridget has recently joined the NFL. Lol's hat is best hat. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Glad you like it. Dr. Eggman! Uh, NFL. Uh, oh wait, shoot, you're wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Not NFL. <laughs> I know how to, I know how to, I know how to sport. NFL is National Football League. I'm actually, I, um, what is, uh, the... NBA, National Basketball Association. Bridget has Jabriskat has joined the NBA, the WNBA in particular. We also got some newcomers here. We got uh I forgot the name of this person. The um the person with a lot of arms from uh Revengeance. Ram is sporting our 2B has retired and Ram is back sporting a brand new look inspired by a certain Chinese ghost. Some crowd favorites like the Senator Armstrong are still here. We got a good old Monsoon here as well. Roxas has gone back to his old game. We're also going to be keeping Evo 01 because it's Evo 01. And we're also going to be keeping... What's his face? I don't remember. You could readily tell I play Metal Gear Evo 1. I'm actually thinking about... Uh, I've been suggested... It's been suggested to me several times to play Revengeance sometime on stream. It is cyberpunk. It is over the top. It is on brand. But I have not decided yet of whether to play that uh, cold. Or if I should play the Metal, rest of the Metal Gear series first. Biken is still Biken. And Sin Kiske is still looking... Is probably looking the most like himself. Except we're for a slight change to his ears... That's right, he has four sets of ears now instead of two. Show us the Ramlethal again. This is uh, the alternate version. Uh, two sets of ears, not four sets. They have four ears, two sets, yeah. Uh, this is the alternate version of the Ram costume because the uh, actual Ram costume is probably not in terms of service friendly. The horny is real, but we must abide. Uh... She just don't wear bombs, huh? Uh, she wears bottoms. I think. God, I hope she wears bombs. Uh, anyway, hopefully that will not be an issue <laughs> with Twitch's term or Twitch's guidelines. Uh, I certainly will not tell them if you won't. But I digress. Let us go ahead and get to playing some guilty, practicing some guilty memes. Free will is a myth. Religion is it religion is a joke. 
We're all pawns controlled by something greater. Memes, the DNA of the soul. Just watch me, master. I agree, May. It's too early to be acting cool. Notice that May's costume is so decidedly more robotic than they were before. That's a problem of the uh, combination mat I was using. The Playboy Bunny mod, unfortunately, does hide some of her skin because both of them are skin mods at the end of the day. That's why you see a lot more of her robotic shell than you would have otherwise. She named after a wind that comes from the Mediterranean. Mistral is the French rain girl. Ah, interesting. Oh shit, there goes my perfect. Survival mode does not involve does not allow you to heal, so this may be a problem. At least I don't think it does. It's been a while since I've done survival. And losing that much health on the second match alone is cancerous. I am trash at this game, chat. But we do love it so. Uh oh, what's a mirror match? I like Romy's hot pants. <laughs> Those are actually um, uh, boy shorts, also known as pants. I guess hot pants. I guess they could also be considered hot pants. Which reminds me, I should probably pick up a pair of these for my cosplay. A little more subtle change too. You may have not noticed that the shading is different in game. There's something called Ishwatari style shading, Daisuke style shading, that apparently the previous games have had. It was a separate mod that was added to the game, however. And at first I didn't think it would do much, but I'm glad to see I was wrong. It adds a lot to the depth of the characters. They look a lot less cartoony. It's a lot more obvious that they're three-dimensional, for one thing. I just wish that... I could have my red coloration and red uh, red coloration again for the hat for the hat and clothes. I have the um, I have the Robomay skin set over the the uh, red colored the the red colored skin so that when I'm facing other people who don't have the Robomay mod, they will still see. Red May. Can you guess what move I'm trying to do? There we go. That's right. Maybe I was wrong about you. I really need to practice Z motions and command grabs. Especially if I'm gonna be playing Ryu in Street Fighter 6. Wow, that's terrible. A decent player would have gone out of the corner by now. It looks like I do heal a little bit, I guess. That was a trade off? Oh, garbage. It looks like the shader might only be on our characters, though, because you clearly saw there at the other. Characters did not have any shading of, of any kind on them. At first I thought I said push yourself to your veiny limits. You better not cry. I was trying to do charge 
these do some charge pressure. Unfortunately, I am garbage. I know you have to, like, delay it or something. Was that a stun? A stagger just now? My health is way too low. The difficulty of the CPUs right now is fairly weak, though. So maybe it'll be fine, and maybe I'll be able to recover enough health uh, to not die early on, but there's Sin, so... Who knows? <laughs> uh, this is delicious. So it looks like I might be able to recover some health, after all. Such as it is. I temporarily forgot the optimal combo, which I believe is HDK. Okay, wow, that's disgusting. Once you get used to that sort of thing, it just becomes too easy to do. Although, I was using heavies instead of lights, which means I could have been punished if the player was smashing or paying attention. So, not exactly the best thing, you know. You can kind of tell that the CPUs are still at a fairly low level right now because they're just dropping on flies. We're already at stage 10, but this is a solid bad guy, so maybe this guy will make me work. The CPU, I mean. Oh my god. Look at this freaking Doom guy mod, or skin, man. May is up, please nerf. I'm already back to full health. I haven't even had to burst once. Perfect. Uh, should I save the current progress and end session? I guess that's enough practice, right? My hair is still wet, so we're gonna go ahead and continue playing without the aid. Oh my god, I've been slimed. Of course, the first thing you do after seeing me is to cover me in goop steel. How are you doing this evening? You'll make me wet? Well, joke's on you, I'm already wet. What now, bitch? Hey, bitch, I'm Rick James. Fun and found. Uh, another May player. From Mexico. From a Hispanic speaking country. Oh man, that ping. Hopefully, this will be playable. Here comes Daredevil. King of Fighters player detected. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? Unfortunately, this is either their first time playing May. Well, it's probably their first time playing May because they're floor seven, apparently. I wonder who their main typically is. Oh, yeah? I already got them to burst. Charge slash. Bruh.
<laughs> Both of us were had the same thing on the had the same idea on the mind. He was like, I know you're gonna grab now. Nope. Is it true Latinos are good at King of Fighters? It is true. And there is actually a very good reason for that that is not racist at all. Um, no, seriously, it's not racist at all. The real the reason why they're so good at King of Fighters is because King of Fighters S or SNK catered to the South American community. When it came to what arcades were commonly available in South America, it was the King of Fighters series. It was SNK games. And naturally, when that's the majority of the games that you're going to be playing, a whole generation of people are going to be playing, of course they would be goated. I mean, it just makes sense. At King of Fighters. If I lose this, it will be my fault because I am fucking around. Far too much. Yeah. Wow. So much for that. That was terrible. Let this be a lesson to people. Never look down on your opponent. Ever. Because the minute that you let up, they're gonna do some shit. We're back up to floor 8, chat. Feels good. Is it true I looked... I'm kinda glad I played all the showdown, to be honest. In a weird way, Coco helped me understand Shermie's combo lines from KOF. Nice, nice. I'm glad to hear it. I don't know who Shermie is, to be honest. But maybe they're partly inspired? I kind of wonder what the nationality of the people who developed... ...of the developers of Idol Shodan are. Who a ram.
Ye failed to match your opponent, or did they not want to play against a May player? I'm liable to believe that they just didn't want to play a fight against a May because... Usually when we reach that part where you can see both screens, it means that we're able to play. She's the grappler with long bangs, some Coco's attacks like boob slap are taken directly. I actually don't play KO King of Fighters, so I don't still don't know who that is. The only characters I know from King of Fighters are basically Iori, Kyo, Vanessa, Athena, Azamaya, Arugul, stuff like that. Ooh. Kai Kiske. Hey, Aislinn. Uh, nothing much. We're just uh, striving, dying. I'm about to, I'm going to get my, I just got back to floor 8 and I'm about to get my ass wrecked by this Kai player, I'm sure. I actually need some practice against Kai players because I'm just getting to the point where I'm getting fucking annoyed with them. <laughs> A little moment right there. Wasted my burst. I'm also playing from this from player two positions that player one got confused there with where the whose gauge was what. No, actually, it's a terrible first round. It's this Kai being goated. So terrible first round for me, though. Oh shit. I worked for that fucking victory, Jesus Christ. Stay in the corner, Kai. Take it from me, the corner is your friend. I would know about that. I fucking earned that victory, I swear to fucking god. Jesus fucking Christ.
Yeah, this round's gone. Holy shit! Never seen a move before. I fucking hate Kai's. I'm turning into... What's his face? I'm turning into... Shika Shika. Just to let you all know, if I take a little bit longer to respond to messages, it's because I'm literally not going to be looking at uh, chat when I'm actually trying, which I think is one of the main problems I've identified with trying to uh, stream fighting games. I'm not paying enough attention to the game itself. Of course I'm not going to do well if I'm splitting my attention between fucking around with on chat and fucking around and playing the game itself. But then again, games barely last like a minute if that, if you're lucky. <laughs> so I'll respond like in between. Ooh. Like it's an Ina, an Ina, you know? 2-3 MS with fire RBF and stuff, 7 is a big W. What do you mean by, oh, 2 and 30 MS. That's what you meant. Uh, Jump-ins are hard because Kai reads it and you're dead, basically. Sage Foundry is... Thank you for the headpats. I love this new Butchie the Rock mod I installed. I swear to God, it's so cute. I don't even watch Butchie the Rock. I just didn't know the memes. Oh, five rollback frames with 330. Yeah, you pretty much uh, have... Uh, you pretty much have them boys. No fucking way! Oh, that was a special. Okay, I thought she did a dust for a second there. I was like, there's no fucking way. But then again, dust is universal overhead and I'm trash and I've forgotten that, so of course. Oh, that's a command grab. I see. This fucking Eno is has insane pressure. Jesus Christ. Get off me. Uh oh. Do I even have tension? Oh okay. Am is Lulz ever gonna get stopped or stop getting hit by that move? No, it'll probably take me like a few sesh a few streams to do that because I'm slow as fuck.
Oh! I don't feel good about that win. That Eno was this close to taking that win, and they probably should have, but they fucked up their wall combo at the very last moment. And were unable to kill. And I was able to get them with an unfortunate slide. Maybe I should watch that uh, vid Yomi posted just recently saying, You don't, people, you are not FDing properly. This is how you properly use faultless defense because chances are they would look at my gameplay and be like, Yeah, you're bad at using FD. You're wasting your resources. Fucking did grab did the grab at the same time. Bull fucking shit. Whatever, do enjoy your two one. Bull fucking shit. The FDs are fine. It's matchup knowledge in this case. You gotta have a plan once you push her out. Yeah, I don't. It's like true. <laughs> I, I straight up don't. I that's the first Eno play player I've played in a long time. Is my hair dry enough to wear my headphones again? I'm kind of liking playing a wid. I like kind of liking playing uh, with no sound, more or less, except for the sounds in my fight stick and me talking. It's kind of pleasant. I'm ready to get knocked back down to floor seven from the this pull from uh, this geo. Thank you for the head pat. Nice Tatsugeki. Here's mine. It was my fault, I got greedy. Block high. That one could have actually gone either way. Take more advantage of staggers. In the rare case, I do manage to stagger people.
Oh, here we go again. 256, bruh. With four rollback frames? Fuck off, dude. I mean, it's still playable. It's just annoying. Was that a low? What the fuck? Oh, man. <laughs> she wall bounced, but she wall bounced behind me. That was not gonna... That was a bad burst. I feel... I feel that one in my soul. Honestly, once you play local stri local Guilty Gear, you it's hard to go back. Because, my god, this game is fucking perfect. And that was only on the, oh no, so on the PS4, too. I saw PS5 gameplay of Strive, and it is smooth as hell. Of course, no mods. What an easy way around that. It's just to play local, P have someone's PC, and play local PC. Should I even bother going to three? Because this lag is bad. Bad enough to be annoying. You thought you could grab me? Uh, think again, friend. Oh, a cross-up. Forgot that was a cross-up. Block this. Oh my god. There. I got 1-1 one, one off of them. They could not go 3. They could not go 0-3. I forced them into 2-1. <laughs> Always look on the bright side of life. See ya, Aislinn. Thanks for stopping by. Another Giovanna? Is this the same Jew I just played? Looks like everyone I'm fighting against tonight is in South America. I wonder why. Oh, I think this might be the same person because they're level 76.
I don't think I want to play with this person a second and third time. This is too unstable. Like, annoyingly unstable. Uh, yo. Very nice. Can he take it back? I fucked up. Yeah, he took it back. Let us not fight this player a second time and third time. This land sea is shit. If they pop up again in search, I'm just going to deny it. And if it keeps being the same person, we're gonna just go go, go to the tower and see if we can find ourselves a dual station. Seriously, seriously, no one else playing tonight? Two thousand people in game right now. Part of the reason I didn't want to play Ida Shoulda anymore either is because it's running into this problem. The same problems Trive is having actually. Where you would set up a game, people would connect, and then it fails to connect. And when it does that several times in a row, it makes you not want to play it anymore. Which is kind of funny, saying that about Idle Showdown, when that's the criticism people have of Strive, had, have, had, of, have had of Strive for a couple months now. Holy shit, is no one else online? Fuck. Hmm. Yeah, we are not. We are just gonna have to go try to tower out and see if the tower works. The key to finding people that might be might be available to fight is to not only look for them, but also see if their character is above their head. Like for instance, this person isn't, which means they might be DC'd. So this one might work. We'll see. Oh, so it is. Gonna play against Potemkin. Did you really just try to open with... Huh. Hmm. 
Hammerfall. Nice. I can't believe that worked. Doing the desper desperation spinny move to get out the fucking uh, orca. <laughs> Hey, it worked, right? <laughs> uh, I was going to be angry with myself if I didn't manage to get that, though. I almost never see Potemkins use that. Also, dude, that move only works against projectiles. It doesn't work against... I don't know why you think I'm going to try and... Oh, shit. Oh, I was too far. Fuck. When he was doing that, I could have probably just backdashed and uh, hit him with a fucking beach ball, maybe. Maybe? I don't know. Ah, this connection is perfect, though. I'm glad I found someone to fight against. <laughs> uh, Potemkin forgets that you cannot grab someone in the corner who is crouching. Still work though. What's up? Oh shit. I fucked up. I jumped instead of trying to do the special. I'm trying to summon the whale. Ah, oh, it pisses me off. I felt a lot, best, a lot better about messing up stuff like that when I found out that even pros miss input from time to time. It is just a thing that happens. And fuck up the wall combo. Except right there. up <laughs> oh, you thought you were safe think again oh very nice and there goes half my health I don't know why but I don't actually don't find fighting Potemkins all that annoying compared to some people Oh shit, I'm dead. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> yes, I did still get caught by that thing. I did not intend to burst bait him, but you know what? If the shoe fits...
No, let me grab you. I earned that victory. <laughs> Oh my god! This Potemkin, this pot's so fun to play against. Ah! That was a miss input. Bruh. <laughs> what? Why? <laughs> are you trying to? Do you? Are you trying to fucking? <laughs> are you? Are you trying to uh, showboat? What's a fair fair cut? What the term was? Why would you do that? Well, to be fair, he is winning right now. So, yeah. He would have felt really stupid if he had wasted his burst from then up from early on and proceed to lose the match. Oh shit. It might be game actually. I think he will take this one. Yeah. Oh fuck. That was exhilarating. Let's find another someone else to play against, except this time I will play with my headphones back on, see how much of a difference there is. Oh shit, how do I, how do I get out? Oh. He wants to fight, I accidentally pressed to fight again. And he accepted, so now we must fight again. And I still have my headset off, because I wasn't able to put it on in time. Uh, not me. Uh, that was totally planned. I was not fucking up the input for Tatsugeki three times in a row. Why did I run into the butt bounce? I don't fucking know. I'm fucking... D I am so dumb sometimes. Did he know?
Ah, oh, it's game. Or not? Why do I keep getting caught by the fucking butt bounce? What is wrong with me, chat? Oh, shit. Fuck me. Nope. Oh shit. Hey Slen, welcome back. Hey, check it out. I made the fi- Made the final fighting game tier list based on who plays the character. <laughs> I know what that is, but okay. I'll take your word for it. Wait, what the fuck was that just now? It almost looked like they were spam attacking or some shit. I know how else to get around that either. Looks like he was not able to... Shit, he went for a low. Oh, five. God damn it. Why can't I remember HD HDK HD I was able to burst out of it this time. You know what? That works.
I've never seen a pot do that before. What the fuck? So close to level 100. <laughs> uh. Okay. What are these links that you posted, Eastland? Let me see what we've got here. Uh, what we got here? The final fighting game tier list maker. <clears throat> oh, I see. So kind of like making fun of the uh, Japanese and American tier lists, which based them based off of uh, esports players, right? Oh, it's just a meme. Okay, it's just a meme. <laughs> well, you know me, I love memes. They are, of course, the DNA of the soul. Hmm. <laughs> Just taking a quick breather here to read some stuff. Characters that bad players currently happen to be playing low tier. Characters that good players currently happen to be playing top tier. Bad players low tier, good players top tier. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> That's certainly a meme of all time. By the way, chat, we did manage to meet our follow early follower goal of 510 people, so I bumped it up to 520. 511 followers, though, since coming back. That's pretty damn good. We're actually catching up to Putty. It's going to be wild if I somehow surpass Putty in viewers and uh, followers, but he does have a higher average viewer count. This tier list is trash, to be honest. It doesn't even have my character that I can either place in high tier to feel good about my decisions or low tier to cope. <laughs> I know, right? I wonder if I should take a break from playing ranked and fuck around in a park for a bit. It's already more strive than I play. I've, it's actually it's already more strive I've played in an hour than I typically play per session. I probably have, there's a lot of things going for me today. Uh, mood, notwithstanding, just things like proper sleep, proper foods, a lot of preparation. And also, I guess, because I've been playing Strive in a while, so I don't feel burned out by it anymore. At least not right now. Want to fight? I can help with matchups. My Eno is rusty, but I can help with Kai at least. Sure, we could do that. This would be a good stopping point, I think. I think we played a decent enough number of, um, ranked matches for the time being. 
Aside from constantly having uh, fighting that same dude over and over again, I like the fact that I've actually managed to get, you know, a game running. So we're not wasting time just messing around with trying to... Just trying to, like, play, period. Let me pop in voice chat, actually. Also, I don't think I did my daily Duolingo today, so remind me to do that before midnight. That reminds me of my favorite Simpsons quote. What's that? Them's fighting words. <laughs> hey, let's fight. Them's fighting words. There are player match network. Create your own room. All right, mods, do me a favor and please uh, go ahead and pin the ID for the room. The room ID is 240106. Hey, Villain the Legend, how you doing this evening? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for the Hydrate Redeem. I am in sore need of one right now. Today's brought to you by today's Gamer Subs, which is uh, mango flavored, I think, but it looks like piss. Thankfully, it does not taste like piss. I'm also now in VC if anyone would like to join the ship post in there. Yo, you're not drinking all that mango piss without me, are you? Mango flavored piss. I'll save you some mango flavored piss just for you. Uh, how you doing, Steel? Good. Oh, um, oh the smell of the game! Connection smection. I only mind it if it's in a ma in a ranked match. I don't care so much if it's in player rooms because player rooms are for fucking walking, fucking uh, around. Who do you want me to play? Um, you can play whoever. But as you can see, I am trash against Kai mains apparently. You can play Kai or Eno or Gold Lewis or another character if you ask nicely. Uh. I don't have, unless you've gotten better at Gold Lewis lately, I don't have that much trouble against your Gold Lewis, but you're goat, you're fairly goated with Kai. So, let's go ahead and start there, I suppose. Tell you what, if I could do inputs, my Gold Lewis would be way better. Hmm. Did you make that video myself? No, uh, my mod and partner, um, Application Venboy made that vid, actually. Laws, what the fuck is this Dragonfly USB stick? It's $500. Um, that is a digital auto converter. I'm using the red one right now. It basically makes the sound... So it's supposed to make the sound all pretty and shit. It shouldn't be $500 though. It should be closer to like, uh... I don't know, four to two... Three to four hundred? Maybe less. And you are... <laughs> you are... Exquisite! Ankle slicer. Step right up. Next. Now for my next trick. Spacing is my spacing is fucking terrible. Oh shit. I think an idle showdown controls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I started you know what's the weirdest thing? I didn't expect to get used to the click box so easily because when I tried to play idle showdown using keyboard and when I started playing Strive with keyboard just to test out my new mods, uh, the weirdest thing started happening. I started pressing the space bar to jump instead of pushing the W key. <laughs> and I was, it was really throwing me off, too. <laughs> what is... 
I had one that came with my $100 headset. Probably not great quality, though. Mm. Who knows? I'm not an audiophile myself. I feel like the red dragonfly I'm using right now is fairly decent. And supposedly the blue one is, like, tremendously better in leaps by in bounds. But I don't... I am not... I don't have good enough the ears to make a determination either way. By the way, what do y'all think of the uh, new mods I've installed? Especially the UI mod, which makes the UI look a lot fancier and easier to read. Uh, that Armstrong is horrifying. <laughs> I know, that's why he's going to be staying there forever, unless someone could somehow create a better Potemkin mod, because aside from the Tatsugeki one, eh, the other ones I are mean, just honestly, colors. it should probably be um, Comsin if we're doing Winds of Destruction. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by Winds of Destruction? The, the boss is in Rising. Oh. The, the, their names are all Storms. Really? Uh, I... Armstrongs, or not Armstrong, but Sundowner, Monsoon, Mistral. I didn't realize that, but that makes a lot of sense. And Comsin is the one from the DLC. 1010 mods, big fan of Machi the Glock. Me too, that was a re I really like them. The, my favorite mods, if it isn't obvious, are the ones that just straight up change the way the, char the character period, instead of just giving them a new skin. Ow. Okay, maybe I'm not a good help, because I totally am out of it. <laughs> mm. Do you want to warm up a bit first? I'm also, um, I've been using D-pad instead of the analog. Oh, why is that? Uh, because it's, because the analog kind of sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I just wish that I could change the color of the clothes so I can go back to being Red May again. It's been a hot it's been a hot minute since I played Red May. I mean to anyone else I'm playing Red May right now because that's where uh, I Ace, the the problem is that it's like um they're really similar. They're similar enough that it's like uh it was like making the jump to from C to C plus plus. Or, mm -hmm. I don't know if that's a good example, but... Uh, who was? Hmm? Who was, uh, like, making the jump from C to C++? Oh, Ace said I only speak one language at a time, and right now it's Idol Showdown. <laughs> kind of? I mean, technically, Strive is still an anime fighter, even though it's probably one of the easy easier anime fighters out there. I likened Idol Showdown closer to Melty Blood, personally, even though there's not as much air combat. Looks at the camera and has PTSD of Aki, of all people. Aki, Botan, Sora, a little bit of Corone. You know what? Forget what I said. Idol Showdown has a lot of air combat in it. <laughs> I also real noticed that your internet's great right now. Steel. Two robot frames and 100... MS? Uh, That's... This is like peak internet for me because it's before before it gets throttled, but not during the day when uh, people are using it. Hmm. So this is the internet as it's meant to be played, is what you're trying to say. I'm also playing on PS4, so any sort of system issues aren't happening. Oh, okay. And, of course, we're on Lars Canyon. <laughs> That's true. I can't wait until you get a newer PC that could actually run Strive. Then you could start experimenting with mods that are not potato mods. I would like to have... Um, well, I have a lot of mods installed. But I'd, oh. like to have a, I'd like to have a PC that can run anything. That's fair. I might be able to just give you some of my older parts, but they are fairly outdated by today's standards, unfortunately. As long as they're not outdated by standards seven years ago, they will be probably better than my stuff. <laughs> uh, it's funny that you say that. Um, I 
part of the reason why uh, mo I had to moderate mo modding or not modding, but basically replacing all the parts of my computer using the part using the money I got from that whale last year was important. Was because my PC was running off of parts from seven years ago, eight years ago, in fact. When you consider that it was built in June of 2015. The most modern thing in my PC at the time was the graphics card, and that was a 3080. Everything else was way out of date. Damn, I did not realize he could OTG the dolphin like that. Mm-hmm. What's OTG? Off the ground. Oh, yeah. So you hit me on the bounce, which... Mm -hmm. Changes it from a hard knockdown to a soft knockdown, but it's good for chipping in the last bit. I'm pretty sure you could use it on all knockdowns, but I've only ever been able to do it on like, yeah, when you, by from tripping people, tripping people, and also the uh, corner combo with the from the uh, two H. And even then, oh, it has no, to be. I have a, I have a run. There's a run macro in. <laughs> Yeah, you have a dash. That's the other thing, too. Um, Strive has kind of spoiled us because it has a dash macro. Playing Zard without a dash yeah, macro is yeah, after, certainly... <laughs> after Zard and uh, King of Fighters and... Them's Fighting Herds has one, actually, but... I can actually play... I can play games that don't have dash macros easier with either keyboard or click box because it's much easier to just double tap than it is to double pull a lever, I found. In my in my opinion anyway. So playing games without dash macros now with just lever. I guess Street Fighter 6 isn't that too isn't too bad. You can block it. Yeah. Uh, what uh, are you saying? I honestly don't know what happened there. I thought you, I thought you could have blocked. I, I, who, who fucking knows? <laughs> Come on to me that uh, meme. That's reactable. Can you react to it? Cry. So, um, the other thing I wanted to mention, I was actually strongly considering playing Revengeance on Wednesday. Um, but I was wondering if I should actually just play through the other Metal Gears and then play it chronologically, or does it matter? I guess Revenge... Because the problem is, if I do it that way, Revengeance would be literally the last game. Damn, I could have gotten the all break combo and I dropped it. So, if I want to play Revengeance anytime soon, I definitely cannot play so it chronologically. <sighs> chrono chrono you know what I'm saying. You don't really need to know... You probably know everything you need to know. Um... Uh, I didn't... I didn't spoil myself on what happened to Snake at the end of the series, when he was an old man, Snake so. doesn't appear. Okay. Does the closest his... thing to Snake appearing is that Sonny Gerlukovich appears. I don't know who that is, so I guess maybe I won't get spoiled. Snake's, uh... Snake's adopted daughter from Resident Evil... from Metal Gear Solid 4. He has an adopted daughter? Shit, I didn't know that. Kind of. Him and Otacon have like a weird adopted daughter. That's the... It's a long story. He and Otacon made a child? Made a baby? No. Uh, Raiden killed someone in Metal Gear Solid 2 and it's their daughter. This is just like my Japanese animes. Or wait, was it <laughs> Raiden that killed Olga? I don't remember. Chat, did Raiden kill Olga or did Snake <laughs> kill Olga? But if you know that Raiden is a cyborg ninja and um, he was a child soldier. I also remember that one game where you spend this large, this really long mission of just trying to escape a building with S. Raiden while he's butt, buck naked. That's the end of two. Okay. Which is weird too, because I remember a long time ago, 
reading the player's guides for when Metal Gear Solid 2 was first new. And I remember you get to meet Raiden for the first time, and that was back when he still had his helmet on and you didn't see his nose face and whatnot. So, I'm confused. Was that the same game, or was the naked running yeah. around? That was Raiden, the same... it's, Raiden it's only appeared in 2 and 4. Oh. And in 4, he's already a robot ninja. I'm already a robot, Jojo. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. which, which is the Metal Gear... Which is the one where Snake is going through a... Going through this... Uh, wading through this pool land... The number of ghosts he meets is dependent on how many people he's killed throughout the game up to that point and such. That is three, which is a different snake. That's that, Snake and Snake. Is that, uh, that's Snake, is that Snake Eater? Yeah. Snake Eater! Snake Eater yeah. is the one that takes place earliest in the ti timeline, right? Or is that five? Uh, no, three. So three... So if I were to play it chronologically, I would start with three, and then I'll go to one. Three, five, one, two, four. Oh, okay, so five. And five is the one where the snake and five... Three, five, and then the Game Boy games, and then oh. one, two, four. And five is the one where snake is actually the bad, the evil boss, the big boss, right? Uh, yeah, that's big boss, which is the, the naked snake, which is the one you play in three and five. Okay. And he's the villain of the Game Boy games. Bruh. Really? Huh. Oh my and fucking the, god! <laughs> the plot of MGS1 is trying to recover his dead body. Really? I thought yeah. it was to stop Metal Gear Ray. Or Rex. Um, the, the terrorists are ransoming... Uh, they're trying to get his body as ransom. Something tells me, something tells me it probably won't matter in what order I play these games because I'm still gonna be confused and I will not be actually spoiled of anything because this is the first time I've heard any of these plot details at all. I thought this, I thought the memes had spoiled me already. <laughs> Shit, I forget Eno's uh, controls. Yeah, I tried playing Eno just to ch check out the Bocce mod and I was surprised by how okay. rushed down so she feels. That I feel okay. like. I feel like if I, if I was in, more into Punk there Girls, I would have been an Eno main at some in a different timeline. Is this Bocce the Rock music? This is Bocce the Rock music. That's kind of cool. I like it when they actually add character theme music along with the mods. They should probably also edit the Robo the Robo May mod so that it makes it so she changes her name to Robo May. I could probably just or may I should just learn how to do it myself. So the best ways to play the Metal Gear games mm -hmm. are in release order. Oh, or, okay. Honestly, you can play Rising on its own. Rising sort of a standalone. Mm, okay. There's. If you don't know the plot of two, you might be confused uh, I, on a couple specific things, but nothing that really matters. Despite consuming all the memes and pretty much reading reviews and players guide, uh, not players guides, but uh, reviews and shit, and watching that uh, that um, one conspiracy theory, I uh, one uh, that one um, AI monologue that talks about. The nature of uh, social media and shit. Um, I honestly am surprisingly virgin when it comes to Metal Gear anything, which sounds really sacrilege coming from a cyberpunk VTuber who's in his 30s. But yeah, it's yeah, that's a thing that is that's certainly a thing. That's why I'm kind of excited to play the Metal Gear series because to me, it will be mostly fresh, in spite of being so old. But. If you say it doesn't really matter, if it really doesn't matter as far as like playing Revengeance and such, um, I don't mind starting with Revengeance. That could be fun. I was thinking about playing Vanquished actually uh, instead, as to whet my appetite for Revengeance, since that's basically Revengeance, except that's basically um, the the protagonist is basically Sam from Rising. 
Yeah. I think he's even named Sam. Yeah, exactly. Also, Vanquish is pretty much, um... Vanquish is obviously not a melee... It's not a... It's not a... You're mostly using guns in Vanquish as opposed to various melee weapons in Revengeance, but, um... Yeah, Vanquish is great. Um, Rising, all you really need to know is that Raiden is a cyborg ninja, uh, and he used to be a child soldier. Oh yeah, I knew those things already. Yeah, then you know everything you need to know. Mm, cool, cool. Alright, then we could try playing our starting up Vanquish and whatnot, and then we'll go from Vanquish to uh, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance up. Is it called Metal Gear Revengeance or Metal Gear Rising Revengeance? Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Is Revengeance like a remake or something, or why? No, is, that's what's... just what it was called. Uh, I don't know if they wanted Rising to be another series, and Rising is to differentiate it from Solid. Oh, oh, okay. Because then they had Metal Gear Survive. Survive was being the was... Metal Gear that everyone likes to forget exists yeah that that was the one not made by konami really or not made by kojima okay yeah that was after hideo kojima left his studio wasn't it that was after he escaped the dungeon and everyone was like what have you done to our baby blue bochi is cursed <laughs> i know actually, kojima kojima didn't really work on rising either yeah i heard that was just he gave his blessings or some shit like that right it was his studio, but he wasn't in charge of the project. Because mm. it was Platinum, who actually knows how to make action games. Yeah. Because if you... Oh, shit. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. If you've played the uh, the nightmare sequence from 3, where he plays a vampire with swords for arms, you know he wasn't great at action games. I don't remember this at all. I do remember in 2, there was a character lovingly re re referred to by... Lovingly referred to by Game Pro Magazine as Count Chopula. Um, and oh yeah, that's... <laughs> that's uh, Vamp the Vampire. And he's not called Vamp because he's a vampire. He's called Vamp because he's bisexual. What? <laughs> I love you, Hideo Kojima. You're the best game developer ever. <laughs> I can't believe I've gone this far without playing a Metal Gear game. Of any kind. <laughs> what reminds me, I should probably play Death Stranding at some point in my life, huh? Liked it. Uh, I liked most of it. Um, a lot of people hated it, and I can't blame them. Probably because it is... It definitely feels like one of those games where it's... It's an experiment. It's an experimental type of storytelling. And you know what? Props to Kojima. I don't actually have anything against art games. I just have against thing. I just have things against art games which are either not actually good, or art games which... Um, well, that was the problem a lot of people had, was that... A lot of people thought it was boring, which... I can't, uh, dispute. Like, um... For example, I actually liked Gone Home, if anyone remembers what Gone Home was. That was the I first... I did not like Gone Home. I liked Gone Home, but what I did not like was the ending. The ending actually... Actually... I felt insulted at the ending. I felt... Well, yeah, that's the problem, it's... is that the ending sort of just, like... It was just... Makes the rest of the game uninteresting. Yeah, it, it just makes me feel like I wasted my time. I mean, I totally understand if the developers had a crisis where they realized they couldn't go through with killing off the main characters and whatnot. And you know what? Fair enough. You're working with some really heavy topics. And it's just... It's just... It was a disappointment. That's, that's, all, that's, about as, that's all I can say. It was a disappointment. And also, my suspension of disbelief was ruined in part because of 
what I know about joining the military and stuff, right? Um, you can't just... The superior game is Gun Home, which is Gone Home, but you just have a gun. Bruh, is there such a thing? <laughs> uh, there is a mod. You, there's no combat, and you can't, like, shoot anything. You just have a gun. <laughs> I can't believe I said I hate Kai on stream. Now people are gonna fucking have a reason to call me cringe. Oh no, you can't kill the Shotos. Oh no! Shh. I'm kidding, but... Um, I f I'm just remembering how in the past I used to make fun of Shika Shika for insisting that Kai was broken as shit. And I'm like, no, Shika, you're literally the only person who thinks Kai is a... You're literally the only person who thinks Kai is a broken character. And now I'm the one bitching about Kai, and it's like, well. I'm not even sure if he's broken or it's just. I mean. No, he's. It's. So, okay, from what I can tell, the whole Kai thing, it's an American thing. It's the way Americans play Kai. What's it about Kai? The way Americans play Kai, which is so disgusting. I'm legitimately, so, I'm legitimately curious. I don't understand. Guilty Gear in general, Americans play. I don't know why that super didn't come out, <laughs> and uh, I didn't mean to put it in there. Okay, but I got it crossed up so I can see mm -hmm. why it got entered. Mm -hmm. Um, so the way Americans, what what uh, the characters Americans like, mm -hmm. Nago, Happy Chaos, Full. It's because these characters have, like, straightforward plans that are like, uh, if you can't get out of my game plan, you die. Oh, more people should like me, then. <laughs> uh, well, people, people think Mei is boring because she has, like, three special moves, and that's it. That's true. Mei is one of those characters that almost all decent Mei players rely pretty much on being tricksters, on, like, mind games and fucking with people, more or less, to so offset the fact that she's a really simple character. But the, go on. The Japanese play, in general, boring fundamentals. That's how yeah. Japanese play Guilty Gear. And Americans are like 50-50s and mix-ups and they like all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And Kai does not have that. So Kai players in America play the most despicable games ever. That's why you have, like, the memes of, like, run-up throw, or vapor thrust into vapor thrust into vapor thrust into vapor thrust, <laughs> or close slash into itself over and over again. <laughs> it's just funny with the way you, the way when you put it that way. <laughs> uh, what's that? Kai, play, Kai players run the most despicable offense ever because it's all they have. They have fundamentals and universal mechanics. It's like, why do anything else if it works? <laughs> the character. Like, uh, <laughs> Kai, Kai players are basically the only care, the only players you will see using dust outside of specific combos. Kai's dust is kind of goated, to be fair. Well, everyone has it. Everyone has it, but Kai is one of the only characters that uses it mm -hmm. because that's his. <laughs> He doesn't have a high-low, so it's between, um, I mean, I guess the other thing is, um, Stun Dipper. Mm hmm You have that move. Yeah, the Ankle Slicer, too. But because none of his specials are plus unless the person's in shock state it's like like fodre arc is a terrible move but i still used it on you mm -hmm. because you haven't figured out how to 
you haven't figured out how to predict it, so I'm just gonna keep using it until you predict it. And then once you do predict it, I'm gonna do something. Oh my something fucking god. Something stupid like that. To me, Kai is just fucking flowing like a maniac. hes It's like he's become, actually, the Raiden skin, more or less. Which is why, also, I think the Raiden skin suits Kai Kiske maybe a little too well. <laughs> There's actually a Raiden skin for Soul Bad Guy, but its it, do it just doesn't fit him. Like, there. What, what normal person would run up, charge dust, someone they have in the corner? Now that you mention it, I think Kai's are one of the few people I ever see just repeatedly run up crab too, which gets really fucking yeah, that's, annoying. That's, <laughs> it's like, what that's the, the fuck? That's the Kai meme. The Kai like, meme is, is run up crab. Why does it work so well? <laughs> because it's a terrible option. <laughs> no. run, run up crab loses to everything. Except on Kai, apparently. Kai's the only one I see who just can run up grab people and everyone else gets pissed off because you can't run up not even maze can run up grab i just run up grab people after i conditioned them after a couple rounds maybe <laughs> but even then i can't run up grab people forever after like the second or third try it's gonna stop working but no <laughs> well that's um i'm trying to remember what the um the third run-up grab is punishing you for not adapting. The fourth run-up grab is a bad habit. The fifth run-up grab is the mix-up. <laughs> I did, against the Kai I was playing earlier today who was kicking me ass, I did notice that if I worked a little bit of my spacing, his what options became a little bit limited. Also, well, that few... If you space out too far, I can just throw fireballs at you. That's true. And then that forces me to come in from the air, and then you can just anti-air me or DP. I'm starting to see what you mean. Also, I can't help but thinking, you mentioning that most Japanese players, they play fundamentals. Uh, so I was just, I was about to say, so basically they're all Daigo. Daigo is like the Japanese player of all time. Bullshit! What was- what? A Ride the Lightning is a disgusting reversal what? super. What was that? <laughs> what? I'm legitimately in shock right now. <laughs> oh my god. I also did you. I did use Heavy Dolphin though, so... Heavy Dolphin is plus, but it's noticeably slower and slow enough for people to react to. Ow. Damn it. It came out as dust. Don't worry, I just. Oh my fucking god. I could have sworn I FT'd. No, I didn't FT that because I was still locked in <laughs> animation from the beach ball. That's the second time now that I've used the. I'm just gonna spin my fucking lever in 360 degrees and hope that the orca comes out because I failed the input the first time that I've done tonight and I feel dirty. I feel like I need to be punished for using a cheap tactic like 360 nope scope to do specials. Oh man, if you feel bad about that, there is a reason Gold Lewis players do not play with the hitbox displayed on screen. Why is that? They'll do like a 270 degree analog spin to try and get the right Behemoth Typhoon. <laughs> like, it's, it is the most prevalent. Gold Lewis players aren't even close. Is that why there's also this meme of Gold Lewis players not throwing out the right Behemoth Typhoon and still winning? And being like, oh, I totally meant to do that. That just, there's so many. There's so many Behemoth Typhoons. Ah! D 
The other day, when I was playing Idol Showdown, I got completely swept by a Coco player, and it was... It wasn't even... I mean, to be fair, I'm trash at Idol Showdown, but this Coco player knew what they were doing. Oh, they man. they had me read from... They were fucking reading me like a book. It was... It was our word. I was being our worded by this Coco player. And I just... And that's when I started wondering. I know Cocos are typically considered the lowest tier by most people in the Idol Showdown community, but are they really? Is she? I mean, she's a grappler. Hey, Miss so Walker. She's... Welcome to the stream. Thank you for the hydrate. She's, uh... She's a low tier that can just randomly kill you because she's a grappler. She really is well and truly considered the low tier by most people, but not everyone, obviously, in the Idol Showdown Discord community, at least. Um, the, but the only thing I've seen about tier lists is that people can't post their tier lists. I mean, people can't, but people Hollow do anyway. Life fans will get mad at them. I mean. That's stopping the Japanese, sure, but do you think that the that everyone else in the extant Idol Showdown fighting game community gives a shit? Most of them aren't even VTuber fans. Most no, of them are VTuber anime fighter players. Are, VTuber fans are insane. <laughs> I mean... I stand by what I said where I like the fact that I mean, Idol Showdown... No, no that's sane fucking, player. No sane player would run that attack line. No, they probably wouldn't. At least not in other characters. But to be fair, you knocked me down, so you had a free shot anyway. Um, let me go ahead and get my Hydrate Redeem. Thank you, Mana. Or thank you, Kemia. How are you doing this evening, by the way? Welcome to the stream. <laughs> but, um, I don't know, uh... What was I gonna say? Idol Showdown players are... I like the fact that the game has introduced a whole new group of... has introduced um, not only Hololive, but VTubers in general to a whole new demographic of people. VTubers that play fighting games and are actually decent at fighting games exist? Hmm, gee. I am so surprised, chat. In fact, right now, Idol Showdown is, like, number 20 on the list of video games being streamed on Twitch or something. Probably a little bit higher than that. There's an average of nine people play. The only reason I went back to Strive is because, one, I'm burned out of Idol Showdown. Two, I'm garbage at Idol Showdown. And three, I want to be... I, um... I kind of want to play Strive in actual tournaments someday, and it's going to take maybe a couple years and a lot more patches for Idol Showdown before anyone considers playing Idol Showdown on a professional circuit. But we'll we'll keep it in rotation anyway. I need to get good at Corone. Now, well, which, what you got to get in on is uh, Kianta Kun. Who? The the weird hand drawn fighting game I showed you. Oh, I should play on stream too sometime. Um, also, I would really like if the d I'm waiting for the devs to fix the uh, button rebinding system in Idle Showdown so I can actually play the single player campaign mode. Because until that happens, I cannot play single player. Literally cannot, because I can't heal. And because. The CPU is a cheating son of a bitch in Idle Showdown and reads your inputs. Um, it is not possible to play that game without dying one, dying at least once or at least losing half your health. So, yeah. I need access to my items. I wonder when Asuka is being released. And I wonder if he's going to be a zoner or what. I haven't finished watching the um, Guilty Gear Strive anime yet, so I don't even know what well, happens to him. he doesn't fight in it, so... He doesn't fight in it? No. What the fuck? I mean, May doesn't even appear in it. Huh. Right. How did I grab you right as... What? 
I didn't use an invincible super. Oh, okay. Right now, I'm trying to get in the habit of actually knowing how to block your moves, since... I'm kind of upset with myself, because some of Kai's moves are not exactly, like... ambiguous. It's quite obvious whether lows or highs and such. But I get hit by them nonetheless. Like, for example, that one move you do, where you're doing the thing... Where, yeah, that move, where you're, like, doing a spinny move with your kicks. Yeah. That has so many action frames that... If you're paying attention, you would think you would get in the habit of blocking high to block that, which is why... It's not even, it's not even an overhead. That's not an overhead? Nope. They what took the away Kai's overhead for Strive. What the fuck is that, then? It's, I'm here. Uh, you can low block it. When did that happen? Um, I... when did Strive come out? No, I could have sworn that that move was an overhead. Really? Yeah. I'm having the biggest sense of fucking... What you might be thinking is, um, here, try and jab as soon as you block, as soon as you come out of block stun. Okay. okay. Get, get in the corner. Okay. Alright. Keep doing it. Do it a couple times. And now, try it in shock state. Oh, are you shitting me? You mean to tell me this whole time it was not an overhead, it was just from the debuff? Yeah, shock state makes all my specials plus. I'm face palming right now. That's that's Kai's thing is that shock state makes my specials plus. Is that so, the reason why people always go on and on about putting people in shock state? Yes, that's if like if you go to command list after this match, go to the command list. See, like, right there, when I don't do it in shock, you can block and punish, or you can catch me in the air. But if you're in shock state, you'll get a counter hit. Or I'll just get kibble chip damage. But, uh, yeah, so, yeah, Chad, this is why game mechanics are important, forehead. I say, having taken several months to learn what a fucking, to even learn how to use the burst in RC. <laughs> I still can't believe I actually played Strive for months and months and months without using basic mechanics of the game. The I'm other thing with the, the flip kick, the mm -hmm. hitbox is disjointed in the air. On the ground, it's about what it looks like, but in the air, it's disjointed. Really? Yeah. So if you... The reason is if you catch people out of the air, you get like a full combo on them. So you... It's a very high risk. It's high risk to catch people in the air with it. Or if you're playing against someone who's just trash, like myself. Apparently, I can Tatsugeki that. Ow. 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 Apparently, I'm too slow. There's actually a mod on Game Banana to uh, replace the intro move, the intro cutscene of Strive with the intro cutscene of Revengeance, but... Not the intro cutscene, Monsoon Speech, and that's the one I have installed. Really? Yeah. That's not what it's... It, it changes the round start to, now there's a pretty meme exquisite. Yeah. I thought there was a mo I thought the mod said, there's a, I thought the mod to start playing Strive, like the opening sequence of Strive period, when you first boot up the game, I thought they, that's what they, I thought that's what they meant. No, it changes it to monsoon speech. Uh, free will is a myth. Religion is a joke. We're all pawns controlled by something greater. So just Means like the, the uh, soul. so just like the um, just like the uh, UI mod I have right now, which uh, changes it to the memes speech.
So, is it any of his moves that are lightning boltish, like that causes shock state, not just the fireballs? It is the fireball and dire eclat. Okay. Uh, thank you for the head pads, the posture check, and the hydrate redeem, and the throwing more stuff. Uh, Asha, how are you doing this evening? Or I should say it's morning for you, right? And it will apply it if you're blocking. Are you? So if you're blocking the fireball, it will put you in shock state. <laughs> Let me... Ah, you're still sleepy? I'm gonna give you a head pats in spirit. Thank you for the hydro redeem. Just checking up on your friends? Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate your visits. <laughs> gonna get some more of my gamer sups. Branded piss water, which tastes pretty good, actually. Is it bad that I'm so intrigued by everyone telling me that Blowhole Blast tastes like garbage that now I want to try Blowhole Blast? I like Blowhole Blast. What's it taste like to you? I mean, yeah, it's, it's like a fruit punch. Oh, or like a like a blue Powerade, I guess. I don't under. Maybe it's the fact that it's a blue Powerade that turns people off. There's a lot of people who say blue Powerade tastes nasty, and I'm like, I've been drinking fucking Frost Gatorade forever. I don't know what y'all are talking about. In fact, I actually have well, some blue power downstairs. But anyway. White, white Gatorade is goaded. That's different. I've not had Gatorade in a while, actually. And the main reason being, I didn't know Gatorade had sugar in it for the longest time. I thought it was just electrolytes. It's what plants crave. And then I remember seeing a meme a long time ago in a Warcraft 3 mod that... You purchase Gatorade to give you energy because it's full of sugar. And I'm like, this is dumb. That's so stupid. Gatorade has no sugar. And then I looked at it and I was like, this thing is actually worse for you than drinking raw, actual, real soda. And then I switched to Powerade from then on. I've been streaming so much that I haven't been able to drop by people's streams, so I'm just glad you're here. Aw. Well, I appreciate it, Asha. You have a great rest of your day. Thank you once again for visiting. Yeah. Well, now that I'm warmed up, is there anything else specifically you want help with for Kai? No, I'm good for now. Let's go ahead and fight like gentle, like gentle fem. I I'm cringing so hard internally. I failed at this joke. Gentle fems. Uh, let, let's 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 just kill each other. God damn it! My only weakness. Five K. Ow. How does that... I'll have to remember that I can grab you out of that now. I did that as an experiment, but at least it worked. So you can grab me out of it, but it is throw immune at the start. Yeah. Nice. I also like it when fighting games have to give every different characters different like mechanics like that, which you don't see on other characters. Things like how Kai has a debuff. You got the whole Jacko 
And Zato have summons. Whirling. Whirling, uh, what's his faces? Uh, Whirling Girl Lewis's. Stick a few times, increases the number of drones that pop out when he does his, uh... I don't, don't know the name of the show you can, basically. Down with the system. Yeah, that one. You know, it's funny, I was standing blocking and I swapped a crouch block because I thought you were going to low. <laughs> Yeah, and that dust I just did, you could probably tell that that was a mis that was a misinput on my part. I didn't mean to dust just then. Oh, okay. Well, I was complimenting you at dusting, but... Oh. Oh, shit. <clears throat> no, I'm not going to do that thing where... Unless it's a ranked game, I'm not going to do that thing where it's like, Oh, yeah, I totally meant to do that because... No, I didn't. I fucking did not. <laughs> Honestly, dust is probably one of my weakest things. Our weakest things in maze kit I still don't use properly. I don't... I don't integrate dust enough in my moveset. Outside of fucking... The only time I ever use dust... I was gonna say, most people don't use dust. It's like Kai. Kai uses dust, because it's his overhead. I mean, Maze don't really... And... Maze don't do vanilla dust, but they do a lot of this. And they do a lot of this move. Especially as part of long co combo strings. But I... Oh, you mean like air dust and 2D? They do the. Have you seen the uh, May combo strings where they just send people juggling to the fucking air to the fucking moon? I can't do that, and I don't know why. I don't know if it's a timing issue, if it's a button issue, if I'm just bad, and I, it's not like um, I haven't tried. I'd look at their inputs because, like, uh, I know Kai has some where you have to dust and then immediately jump cancel the air dust. Mm-hmm. And that one, you cannot see it if you're watching. You have to look at the inputs. Uh, excuse okay, me? that was an intentional dust just then, but see, this is what fucked me up. You were pretty fucking far, right? So I didn't expect the dust to actually hit you from that distance. Like, that was legit half screen almost. Like, what the fuck? I don't even know. I don't know what to say about it, man. It's weird. Dust is just one of those things that people forget exists as a button you can press. Uh, it's because most players, most characters don't need it. Mm hmm. Order dust are just unfortunately, or just unfortunate, and unless outside of very, very specific, like, situations, there's no need to dust. If I must kill to protect them, then so be it. If I must kill to protect them, then so be it. Alright, we're going Gold Lewis. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get ready to embarrass myself. <laughs> Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. I will believe in this Alex Geek skin for Gold Lewis. I saw that. I thought about installing it, but eh. Oh, it's not a mod. It's just his palette 5 looks like Alex. Oh, does it? Yeah. I wonder how it looks on Dr. Eggman. It got the Eggman. Actually, what I need to do, I need to get him a mod where he's wearing a flannel. There is actually a mod like that. Okay, well then he can be Alex Yeek. <laughs> you do well to dress me as Sir. Oh yeah, I got the Eggman theme running as well. Woo woo, yeah!
No drones for you. But how will my child play neutral? My child will... I, I can't make the joke. There's some memes that I try to say in vocal form and they just don't work because a picture is worth a thousand words. Ow. So you play a lot of Dark Souls too. All Dark Souls also Dark Souls also, right? Yeah. I got into this conversation. I made this thread on Twitter the other day where I was comparing uh, learning how to fight a Dark Souls boss to learning how to play fighting games. And I got into a conversation with someone else who was a avid Dark Souls player who was trying to explain to me why he thought my concept my understand my concept was flawed. And to me, the way he explained it sounded like he was just restating what I just explained of how Dark Soul learning how to fight play, fight Dark Souls bosses is similar to fight learning how to play fighting games. So, and we went through this conversation for a little bit, and his last comment was something along the lines of not really responding to most of my statements and just responding to the one thing where I pointed out that sometimes fighting against noob players or people are just average at fighting games is like fighting against CPUs because they get really predictable. And he was like, well, you see, that's the reason why fighting against Dark Souls characters is not like learning fighting games because, as you just said, as you just admitted, um, fighting against players is not the same thing. And I'm like, I think you're not understanding what I'm trying to say, so I think we'll just end the conversation here. And I wanted to get your opinion on that, more or less, because I don't know... Well, I've been playing Elden Ring, so um, That's... fighting all the copy-pasted bosses what do you mean? Uh, in the boring open world. Elden Ring has so many fucking... There are so many... First off, it's an open world, so the majority of the world has nothing in it. Oh, yeah. Open world problems. <laughs> and it's all fucking copy-pasted bosses. Like... There I... are... Like, literally. I have fought maybe... I have to think about how many I have in my inventory. So wait, they're straight up recolors? Yes, not even recolors, copy pastes of like the the Erd Tree Guardians and the Erd Tree Burial Watchers. That's kind of dumb. A bunch of a bunch of bosses in the side dungeons are just basic enemies with more health. Bruh. That sounds like some MMO bullshit. <laughs> what the fuck was that about Behemoth or Typhoon? Did you mean to do that? Oh, did, well, you jumped it, but you jumped it at the wrong angle. Did you know I was going to try and mix you up just then? Or is no, it... it's just that that typhoon uh, has a... That specific typhoon is cross-up proof. I was going to say, that kind of looked like you read me or something. I was like, wow. <laughs> just has eyes on the back of his head or some shit. But um, So, go on. You're saying cop there are copy-paste bosses all over Elden Ring or whatever? Yeah. I I was so hyped up because everyone talks about how great Elden Ring is. Yeah, it's supposed to be like the game of all games. The, the souls of all souls or something. Honestly, just play Dark Souls 3. <laughs> <laughs> just play Dark Souls 3, if you ask me. So, um... And then yeah. there's another thing where, um, so they're making a point of like the first boss you run into, you're supposed to run away from because you're not strong enough to beat it. Uh -huh. So there's this whole thing. There's this whole thing of like, oh, if you're not strong enough to beat an enemy, you can just uh, leave it for later when you're stronger. But then they use that as an excuse to just put giant overpowered enemies in every area. That sounds kind of like in base Elder Scrolls where. There are just some place where the lo the locations aren't really zoned, so... Oh no, they're clearly zoned. There is an area you're supposed to go to and an area you're not supposed to go to at the start. Oh. 
but then in the area you're supposed to go to, there's er there's enemies that you basically can't beat. Because it's like, oh, you can just run away from hard enemies, so we're gonna put all these hard enemies in here you're supposed to run away from. Which just defeats the point of that whole lesson of running away from fights you can't beat, if you just put a bunch of fights you can't beat everywhere. Yeah, it's really contrived. You really just destroyed half my health just now, didn't you? God damn. <laughs> Got all those hands to hold down neutral for me. I'll show you these hands. God damn it. Hey Lilith, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Oh sweet. You're gonna get all your viewers to come and tell me how bad my Elden Ring takes are. I'm not even sure how many of them play Elden memes. Hey chat, how many of you play Elden memes? Or uh, from software games. Tell me about how my tell me about how my takes bad. I'm okay. How tell are me you? About how that that enemy that you can't fight normally and you can only beat basically by using heal spells, which is totally <laughs> counterintuitive, and you have to find a <laughs> hidden item that tells you to do that. Tell me that's good character enemy design. That sounds like really old. That sounds like really outdated game design too. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but. It's um, emergent gameplay. That's not uh, emerge this dick and balls. If that's emergent gameplay, then I, I don't have a joke prepared for this. But <laughs> um, Lilith, how am I doing? Um, I'm doing okay, I guess. I didn't have a. I was kind of having a bad weekend, and I was going to extend to this week, but I don't know. The week just started. I guess Monday was okay. Um, but aside from that, just playing some guilty memes and talking shit about tr popular AAA games with my uh, maid here, Steel. He's he's giving me a platform to slander Elden Ring in. Pretty much, we don't slander other pe other people on this channel much, but we can. Sl but I don't mind people slandering video games as much as they like, because heaven knows I do that all the time. The closest thing to a AAA game that I even play on this channel is probably like Cyberpunk 2077 and soon to be Street Fighter 6, I suppose. Did you ever get around to reading what you wrote? I've not been on Discord for a hot minute, so probably not. Let me check DMs right, right really quick. That's enough gold Lewis for me. Yeah, all right. Uh let me see here. Are you referring to... Are you talking about your revised lore? I have not read that yet, no. Why did I get, an achieve get a new badge for getting my ass kicked? <laughs> but um no the reason I brought up souls anything was actually to get your ta get your opinion on that Twitter thread I had with someone about a fighting game mentality versus Dark Souls mentality oh. because to me yeah we totally went off on a tangent because uh, what were what was your point in my opinion the Dark Souls concept doesn't sound very different from getting good at fighting games because with the exception that unlike computer players human beings will good human good fighting game players will eventually learn how to adapt and it quickly becomes a game of who can adapt to the other person's strategy quicker um you don't get this with even the best cpus and video games because of the limitations of how much programming you can do eventually all computers will be outsmarted that's why even those people that have coded bots to play strive for them who are sit who park themselves in celestial will eventually get defeated and then when the person who coded the bot finds this out they go back they recode the bot they put it back on there and eventually someone's going to learn how to defeat the bot again because that's just how that's just the limitations of computers um, human beings will eventually, good hum, people, human beings given enough time will eventually outsmart, will eventually 
do better than they did before because they're constantly reprogramming themselves. So, given that Souls as a community revolves around this whole hardcore herder, you're gonna get your face kicked in until you eventually learn. You're just going to spend all this time reading wikis and watching replay vids and losing, losing, losing. And, until... and I'm just like, that's not the Dark Souls community. That's, that's not the Dark Souls community. Then maybe that's I'm. That's everyone. That's everyone's perception of the Dark Souls community. But... That's my perception. That's why I thought I thought the whole Dark Souls thing was, you know, get good, just like fighting games, right? Well, it, um, so the, the get good, get good started as a joke. Like there were people that said that obviously, but it started with, um, the giant dad build in Dark Souls 1, the which was this, it was a super powerful, undefeatable build, basically, that you didn't have to be a high level to get. So you would run through the game, pick up these items, and then come back and invade people at the start of the game. And it was called Giant Dad because you wore the giant armor and the mask of the father. And you wore you used a lightning's Y hander, which was like the highest raw damage you could get. And you basically you pick you used the biggest sword and the heaviest armor and you came and you stomped people at the start of the game. So it's like an MMO. Ouch! Ow, 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 ow. Thank you for dropping something on my head, Lilith. Um what get um, uh, But then the it's I don't even think it was the community. I think it was forces outside the community just fostered that. Like, Dark Souls 2 starts with an old lady being like, you're going to die over and over. <laughs> yeah, they, they named Dark Souls 3 Prepare to Die, so, or they did that whole Prepare to Die edition thing too, so, like... That was the special edition of the first game, was Prepare to Die. But it wasn't really like a... People don't like Dark Souls for being hard. They like it for... The challenge is part of it, but it's not just like, oh, this game is so hard. Also, I haven't played Ram with all in maybe half a year, so. That's fine. Maybe the uh, skin I got for Ram will inspire you to uh, greater heights. Hey, I'm finally triple digits. I'm finally level 100. <laughs> so, um, I'm, I'm. Oh, the main thing. Hmm? So, Dark Souls bosses. I think the main thing is that they're not, they don't learn. Dark Souls bosses don't learn. Yeah, they don't and learn. That's the, it's their computers. That's the main thing with the difference between fighting games and. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did that move again? Sorry. Which one? Uh, any of them. Just, I've oh, never. Um, I'm starting to wonder one? if I'm actually breaking the twim Twitch terms of service with this skin. I mean, uh, let me uh, let me do the Rekas. Because uh, I, I specifically I specifically chose the okay I specifically chose the skin that was supposed to be the safer or safer-ish for work one, because the other one was straight up loot was straight up porn. There are two versions to this skin basically. What about this? Six mm, P. Hmm. Let me try grabbing you really quick. All right, so it's covered. She has under things. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, that's the impression I got of the Dark Souls community. I thought the whole thing was, I thought they were similar. I thought they were kindred spirits with fighting game communities in the whole being masochist and getting losing until you get good, but. No, that's the thing. It's not, it's a challenge. It's not masochism. Okay. I guess would be the distinction I make. Because that's what I was trying to explain to this guy, right? Um, I was trying to explain to them that, look, you spend all this time learning how to beat bosses in Elden Souls, right? And that's because they all have attack patterns, right? And eventually you are able to predict them and defeat them, right? Well, that's not very different from fighting players in fighting games. Eventually, because the majority of people only learn a couple a couple reliable combo strings or combo moves or whatever and they just spam that until they run into someone who knows their way around that and then it becomes a game of who can outsmart the other person the concept is not that different that's all you have to do in fighting games that's why 
that's why a lot of guides, they'll basically tell you, oh, just learn one or two routes and then you're good up until you reach the pro circuit. Because that's absolutely true, that's how it works. And he wasn't understanding and eventually I was like, it's clear that there's a miscommunication mm. somewhere, so I'm gonna stop talking. <laughs> uh, we're gonna, we're not gonna... So, okay, anyway, I'll give an example. Um, cause you don't have to worry about Dark Souls enemies adapting to you. Yeah, you don't. Really. Because they're CPUs. Yeah. Which, in fighting game CPUs, actually, they're getting pretty good. They will adapt to you. That's also what I was telling him, that lately, some some CPU, some fighting game AI has been getting a lot better, where you can actually condition the AI. If you keep using the same move, eventually they're going to start predicting that you're doing that. And that's when you're supposed to change up your tactics, just like a, like, just like a human player, more or less. But, um... I don't know. Uh, Lilith... You want to get this game? Which game are you talking about? Are you talking about Elden Souls or are you talking about uh, Guilty Gear Strive? Okay, there's there isn't anything like so. I just fought the Fire Giant in Elden Ring, mm -hmm. and stage two of the fight is just like get on your horse and keep running behind him. He can't hit you while you're behind him, so he'll have to turn around. There's that's... not really a thing like that in fighting games. That's true. Well, uh, remember when I used to just do nothing but do this move? Just do this, just, just do this all the time? Yeah, but then once you, the difference is, once I start anti-airing you when you do that, yeah. once I start anti-airing you, you'll stop doing it. Theoretically, anyway, I should stop doing that because it's like, hey, maybe you should stop coming in from the fucking air since it keeps getting you killed. But... Maybe I'm... Maybe I'm being too cynical? I don't know. Guilty Gear. I already have Elden Ring. Um, if you want to get into fighting games, I do recommend Guilty Gear Strive. It is one of the more... It's not an easy game. It's an easier game than most fighting games. And if you want to get into a fight, I'll talk with about you. I'll talk to about Elden Ring with you. <laughs> also, um... Lilith says it's not, I think, because it's not the focus of the game. That is correct. Uh, according to Twitch's guidelines, they allow occasional ludity as long as it's not the focus of the game. So, and to be fair, I've seen people play lewd mods and Guilty Gear on stream before anyway, so... Eh, it's probably okay. Okay, wait, hold on. I gotta... Also, to answer your other question, uh, no, I've not read your updated lore yet. So I will try to make time for that this week sometime. I've honestly been behind on a lot of shit. Like, I only recently found time to start Sorry. working. You're welcome. Or, my, you're fine. My neighbors were fighting. I had oh. to close the window. Oh, no problem. Um, I was just going to say, I only just recently started making time for to start working on my Pathfinder character, so I'm sorry for not getting back to you on that earlier. Oh yeah, Chad, we're going to be playing, um, Lilith here is going to be DMing a Pathfinder game, and I've never played Pathfinder before, so I'll be one of their players, along with Cosmo and the gang. It's going to be a fun time. They requested- Oh crap, I did the wrong super. Why did that break just now? I did the not invincible super. Oh. Hmm. You ready? Everyone, everyone else, the- Every other character, the half circle super is invincible, mm -hmm. and the double quarter circle forward isn't. Oh. But on on Ram, it's the opposite. Her double quarter circle forward super is invincible, and her half circle isn't. Mm -hmm. Uh, you have a bunch of fighting games. Lilith, who do you play, or what do you play? Mainly Blast Blue. Oh, well, if you have Blast Blue experience, you'll be fine in Strive, I think. Yeah, I mean, Blaze Blue is just a boot like a Guilty Gear. It kind of is, isn't it? <laughs> Interestingly enough, the most common uh, comparison that I saw people making from Idol Showdown was that it's a, bla it's like bla playing Blaze Blue. I guess. I mean, it does have burst, but it doesn't have any Roman cancels. Are there any uh, Roman cancels? Cancels. 
You can super chat cancel specials and other specials. Oh, okay. So they don't have RCs. You can just do it automatically. That's true. Um, I suggest that you wait for Strive to go on sale, which it should be relatively soon because there's going to be a new character coming out. Also, the network, the uh, netcode is kind of wonky right now. And they are promising that it's going to be fixed by the 25th, so, you know. That said, if you end up getting the game, there's a lot of us that play Strive, including Cosmo Bergamo and friends and people in that community. So, if you ever want to play, let us know. In our server in particular, there's a lot of people that play Guilty Gear. I count to at least 20 plus, in fact. Also, I would like to point out that a lot of these skins you're looking at right now are actually modded in. These do not come with the base game, but skins are free, so that's a non issue. They're fairly easy to uh, install as well. I'm still, I could still hear you. Yeah. Oh, okay. <sighs> My headset just died, so I had to plug it in. Oh, rip. There's actually a lot of good mods for Ramlethal and for all the. I think the uh, female character that has the least mods, as far as, as far as I could tell right now, might be Milia. Surprisingly. Ram has a lot of decent ones too. Uh, Ram but has a lot of mods, but they all, a lot of them get rid of her cloak, which is kind of has... important. Yeah. Yeah, I noticed that. I saw a really cute NYC one where she's wearing an NYC shirt and she's wearing casual clothes, but it doesn't have a cloak, so that's going to be problematic. I cannot grab you. Okay, now I can grab you. Nice purple RC. I just can't. I've lost all my rain with all knowledge. It has been a hot minute. Now there's a pretty meme. Exquisite. Apparently there is a combo route you can go to, you get to with Mei that starts with her throwing someone and I don't know how to do it. Ow. Shit. Oh shit. Oh god, oh fuck. I could not dolphin out of the way in time. I like how this UI mod makes the risk gauge a lot bigger as well. It was kind of minuscule. In the, uh, vanilla. Yeah, it's about as big as the stun meter from Street Fighter. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. You're doing that move. You're doing that. To... You actually pull it off, too. That whole thing where you just have to do the same motion, like, a few times or whatever.
I'll you. Uh. That's no. For. DP to death. Will Lulz ever respect the DP in fighting games? No, I don't think I will. I'm too dumb for that. Uh. What is it about Guilty Gear's Try which makes me want to keep playing it match after match after match, but a game like Idol Showdown tuckers me out after a couple games? It could just be an experience thing. I'm not good. I'm not that good at Idol Showdown yet. Uh, how does the Iron Tagger play? Who? Uh, Lilith was asking about Iron. Or sorry, Lilith. Iron Tagger. Yeah, Lilith was asking about Iron Tagger. I don't know who Iron Tagger is. Who are they? Let me look that up. Play. Opponents in. Uh... Grab. What's so it? he's a grappler, so I guess oh. Potemkin. Potemkin, then. Uh, but he can magnetize opponents and pull them in. Oh, this guy, the red skin, the big bulky dude. Yeah, this is basically the Potemkin of, of uh, Blaze Blue, isn't it? I guess. I don't know about Blaze Blue. Your best bet's probably going to be uh, Potemkin, Lilith. I can't play Pot. Like at all, so I can't demonstrate, but eh, I don't know, maybe it'll be fun. Attempt Gin Command List. Let's see his command list here. Um, let's see, it's got a fucking that's a Z movement. Attempt Gin Buster here is basically just. Half circle forward. Or 360. Or 360. Mega Fist is also fairly... It's just a quarter circle. So this is that move that uh, causes people to trip. And Hammerfall is basically... So that's why... Hammerfall is basically Tatsugeki. Except... Uh, I mean, they have different purposes. That's true. Hammerfall's got armor and you can break Hammerfall. And he also has this move, uh, which is just half circle, which basically uh, reflects projectiles. Okay. Um, Garuda Impact, which is a flamethrower. Heavenly Potemkin Buster is just. What's Garuda he... Impact is the most important move. And this fucking move, I hate this move so much. I I I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. Even though I know how to get around it now, I I fucking hate this. <laughs> Uh, just uh, play Eno and go under it. Or, or you could do that, yeah. yeah. I'll play someone different too. Mm -hmm. I will play... I gotta look up his command list. While you're doing that, I'm gonna go do a really quick uh, lesson of Duolingo so that the bird doesn't scream at me. What's your opinion on me making Strive my anchor game, more or less? I don't know, if you like it. I think it's for that. I think that speaks for itself, probably. <laughs> According to Steam, Strive was the game I played the most of last year, apparently. Well, aside. Well, no. Metal Unit was the game I played the most of last year, followed closely by Guilty Gear. So. I guess that pretty much says it. I mean, Strive is a relatively popular game. It's not It's not tr super AAA, but it's the closest thing to AAA. Um, it has a fair, still a fairly robust F niche community since it is a fighting game. I'm thinking about, I'm definitely going to pick up Street Fighter 6 when it comes out, even though everyone's going to be playing fucking Street Fighter 6. 
since they're trying to appeal to a new age of uh, warriors. But. I mean, you can play whatever you want. There's a streamer I follow that, like, recently he marathoned all the old Tohu games. Really? He's playing the. He's going to play the whole series, but he, like, literally, he played one and two and three, the ones that, like, no one knows about. The really old ones. The ones that aren't bullet hells. The ones with the uh, spinning, uh, with the spinning, whatchamacallit, the spinning, uh, yin yang sign. Yeah. Okay. Been a minute since I've played Nagoriyuki too, but I have played him more recently than. Is this seriously his dust? It's just another kick. Which one? His this 2D? one. Yeah. Yeah, it's the universal sweep. What the shit? I feel. He is so slow, damn. I mean, yeah, big yeah, but... Oh shit, you know, I don't know. Now goes overdrives. Hammerfall! Did we both just try to command grab right there? I think so. Also, I'm not used to playing a character with no dust. No dust? You mean no dash? No, no dash, not dust. Yell, yeah, this is the guilty gears of all times, am I right, chat? And uh, I can't remember Nago's reversal. I wonder which one of us was the guiltiest gear that time. Hold on, I'm gonna pop on the dust loop really quick. No problem. I'm gonna go do my next duo uh, on my next uh, Duolingo class. Now I'll be quick enough that we can rematch this. I just have to. Mm, okay. <laughs> Where is he? Uh, six, three, two, one, four. Oh, that's half circle. Okay. As for me, in typical fashion, I've already forgotten the uh, move list that I looked over. Uh, 360 plus punch is Potemkin Buster. 360 plus punch? Okay. No!
Why did it dissipate so quickly? I love how this move doesn't actually do any damage, it just trips people. Bruh. How do you do the butt bounce is what my question is. Ah! The, the bigger they bounce. are, the harder they fall. Uh, the weird move where um, Potemkin falls down to the ground with his butt out. And he just is squashes not, you. Uh, I don't know. Have you even tried your air attacks? I forget that I can even go in the air. <laughs> we'll try. We'll figure it out in the next. Or we'll see if I can do something like that in the next one. Practice complete. I never see anyone use this move, for example, but then again, I guess Potemkins don't really fly in the air, do they? Oh, oh, okay, it's a dust. Oh shit. Will it kill chap? No. Another question I was thinking about, what exactly does it mean to have big buttons? Does it just mean high damage buttons? Uh, no, like physically your normals take up a lot of space on the screen. Oh. Hmm. Like that's a big button, 5H. Pretty much all of his... Yeah, 5H five, just... five is, that's your, that's your go-to. Yeah, I noticed that I never see any Potemkin, uh, Doing like using kicks, but they all do this to get people off them, and they all use slash and heavy slash and dust. There's actually I know, I know that Potemkin's a weird character because every ability has a specific use. Hmm. It's interesting that Coco had a dedicated anti-gear and a dedicated uh, on-the-ground move. What do you mean? Two of her moves, which is the tail swipe in the air and the uh, stabbing with a butt plug in the ground, they will miss unless you're either coming at them from oh, the yeah, air. Oh yeah, because that's or... um, that's why I made the comparison to Shermie from King of Fighters. Mm. She's a grappler, but like in Coco strings, you'll gra you'll do a combo and then scoop someone out of the combo with one of those grabs and then continue the combo. Hmm. Which is unlike Guilty Gear and Street Fighter. Where grabs are just like grabs. 
Oh yeah, the funniest thing happened in um But like Shermie and King of Fighters, she has she has a move set that eighty percent of it is different grabs. <laughs> oh. Bro, you ate me. How does you like the taste of nano machines, am I right? Oh shit. I don't think so. Um I finally beat the arcade mode on with on expert difficulty with me. And for yeah. fighting Naga at the very end, he kept kicking my ass, but the first time I fought him, I was able to down him when he went to super bullshit blood rage mode. And I just kept grabbing him and throwing him every time he from every time he woke up. And I managed to do this five or six times. It was kind of stupid, but also funny. I kind of I wish that I recorded it. See, there's our use for that kick, just to stop people from coming in. It's like a speed bump, almost. Yeah, it also stops. Um, if you're fighting Milia, it stops the car. I know <laughs> that's the main. That's the main use. <laughs> All right, time to play. Switch back to a character I know how to play, or at least a character oh. that. Okay. Character I kind of can play. I mean, we can keep playing characters we don't know how to play. We could do that too. I wonder what Venboy is up to. Mm -hmm. Who should I play next? Oh, I know. Delightfully devilish, Seymour. You know, I did not look at Soul's move list at all. I just selected him. Me neither. I don't fucking know how to play. The game just crashed. No way. Huh? My game just crashed. Oh, a rip. That's never happened before. I wonder if it's because of my mods. It says here, fatal error. Oh, yeah, I was having that issue with Bedman. Oh. If you have a... If you have a map mod, for some reason they don't work with Bedman. I don't have a map mod. You don't have like the potato mod or anything? No, I do have the Astolfo mods, but that was going to be... That, that was not That on. might be it. I know that stage mods don't work with Bedman for Why some reason. I... It can't be because we weren't playing that level. Oh. That's weird. Let's try, uh, let me remake the room and I'll try playing him again and see if he crashes again. We got, we were on Lars Canyon and there is no mod on that. The clo- Very weird. Eh, I'm sure we'll get it to work eventually. But yeah, Lilith, um, keep a lookout. I'm sure the game will go on sale in the near future. Ah, uh, it's midnight here, so what do you think? We'll play a couple more games and we'll call it a night? Assuming I can... Play the bed man's with no issue, but we'll see. Oh, it's up to you. Try a before you set up a room, try like a practice match. Hmm? Oh, or not. Uh too late. Seven seven two three three eight.
Looks like Bedman still lists as my entry character, so... Let's see if we can reproduce the crash. It truly is. I was looking at Soul's command list and he is just the the cooler Kai. <laughs> Pretty much. I keep thinking that Soul Bad Guy is the Ryu, but Kai is probably closer to the Ryu and Soul Bad Guy is the Ken Masters. Oh the smell of the game. Mm -hmm. I also want to see your mod. <laughs> I want to see what soul black guy looks like. <laughs> uh... Oh, he's not black. He How is black. Look at mod? his skin. <laughs> like, look at his bear skin, not his skin skin. Oh, is it far slash I need to be hitting with? I mean, he is a show at the end of the day. So bad guy, I mean. There you go. If he was a show, would he have... Yes. Yes, would he, he would. Have... Yes, he would. <laughs> would he have Falcon Punch? Yes. Okay, I thought I was blocking that. <laughs> Bruh, I just realized that Bedman has a dash. Uh, yeah, every character has a dash. Potemkin doesn't have a dash. Except Potemkin and Nagoriyuki. I guess Nagoriyuki technically has a dash, but it's not a dash button thing. It's, uh, it's part of his moves. Oh, that was a waste. But that was cool to watch, though. Bandit Brung. Oh, no. what am I doing? I just gotta do the Captain Falcon thing. Only special moves. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Uh, Bedman's dust is kind of... Scary to sell to watch. Ow, you punched the bed. Give me all a close slash. Chick pathetic. <laughs> Was that a fucking tornado roundhouse kick just now? I was trying to Tatsu, but I accidentally jumped, so I did an air Tatsu. My god. Bruh, he just threw a bed. Right, that's what I'm gonna do in real life. Balls, I'm gonna come over and I'm gonna break your bed. Ayo? Get in line. You got about a half dozen people in front of you, it seems. Listen, I've known you longer than a lot of these people. That is true. I'm giving the old mochi special. No. I <laughs> what are his 
What are his overdrives? Um, he has like three, I think. That is the bad one. <laughs> Bro, did you see that? The Doom guy just threw, just took off his helmet to do that move. I did not see it. He straight up grabs his helmet, throws it away, and then does it. And it's clearly a black man underneath it. <laughs> so there you go. Well, There's your soul black man. I'm Okay, good. Soul Black guy is the best skin. <laughs> the Soul, the Doom, the, uh, I don't, I don't know. I'm kind of, I think a Black Doom guy would actually be kind of cool now. Now that I think about. Uh, that was the movie. It was Dwayne Johnson. The Doom movie. I thought Dwayne the Rock Johnson in the Doom movie was the, me, it was the big bad. No, wasn't he the main guy? I'm pretty sure he was the big bad, but it's been a while. We'll, we'll have to look that up. Because the original, if I recall correctly, the Doom movie was honestly closer to uh, the event. Was it kind of? It was kind of like watching Event Horizon, except with Doom flavor, if I recall correctly. But there, see, this. he does it again. He straight up fucking grabs his helmet, throws it away, and then does the oh, move. That's pretty cool. That's really fucking cool. That's not in the original Soul Bad Guy. They must have. He must have fucking. He's got that helmet hair though. Um, do you think he, that's, do you think that's what he's doing? He's actually just throwing off his helmet hair or helmet thing? Because it looks like he just takes off his fucking. Anyway, that's just goaded. I don't actually know what I'm doing with Bedman. I'm just pressed. I'm just fucking. That RNG projectile weapon he's got going on too is kind of. It's not for RNG. You pick which one you get. It is. It what? I it's mean, based on which special move. Yeah, but it activates on its own, doesn't it? It's timed. Oh, okay. So it's predictable. Yes. No, I'm just gonna use this super over and over, because I don't know how to use the good one. That is a good one, though. If you don't know that you're just supposed to jump over it and you try to block it, you're gonna die. <laughs> and I'm you playing. You can also a beat it in a bunch of different ways. Like literally, uh, as Bridget, if you do the, if you do the butt attack, you won't get hit by it. Are you fucking serious right now? Because the throw immunity on the butt attack lasts the entirety of the move. Wow. So if you time your if you time your ass attack just right, it misses. You don't even have to time it because it takes so long. You can just react to it on the cinematic. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do this character, and I don't know how to use their moves, but that's okay because their normals are so absurd that you don't even have to use the special moves. And I'm playing a character I don't know how to play either, but it was when I first started playing Strive, I had to decide between this character and Mei. And you could see which one won out. Okay, there is my overdrive. Oh boy. I have no idea how to play Jacko, but I know her normals are so good that you don't have to know. Her normals are pretty good. In fact, pretty much every Jacko I've faced in the tower did not use Servants. Really? It's partially because I'm playing Kai, which is Jacko's worst matchup. For real? For real? Yeah, because he can just kill her servant all the time constantly mm -hmm. he can react to her pulling out the servant by shooting a fireball and the fireball will hit her and get rid of the servant before it can do anything wow. and then stun dipper can go under servants and stun dipper also beats her sweep which is like her best move mm -hmm. what the shit is this oh my god it's jacko I've never seen any Jacko use that move. 
Oh my god. It's Jacko's best move. I've it's never seen a Jacko. It's the reason you play Jacko. All the Jackos I fought against use servant spam, alright? <laughs> you do 6H and you do sweep, and that's it. Or is it 5H? Okay, it's 5H. You use 5H and you sweep, and those are the only attacks you use. That's how you play Jacko. Well, the way you play Milia is to just spam air dashes and keep doing this down, fucking down 2 a or air H move. So basically May on steroids. Well, now you gotta drive the car. Oh, that's true. I don't know how to drive the car, though. I'm sure I'll figure it out eventually. Bruh. Ow. Ow. That animation she just did where she got kicked, where she got kicked in the chest, her eyes bulged out was just chef's kiss. Hell yeah, that was the Milia gameplay of all time, chat. The Milia of all time. Don't say that too loudly or the Milia down players will find you. <laughs> you mean the Milia players? Ah, there's Walter. Oh, true. I should have, like, thrown servants or done something. Mm -hmm. People bitch about other characters having ter having horrible, having scary wall pressure, and then there's Jacko. Jacko is a war crime. I would know, I play Kai. Hmm? I would know, I play Kai. <laughs> Uh, interestingly enough, people will swear by Ram being a war crime as far as wall pressure is oh, concerned. Yeah. I didn't even get it going that well against you, and I could just lock you in the corner. Mm hmm. Ow. Ow. Damn, Jacko's fun. I should learn Jacko. Yeah, no shit, right? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Meanwhile, it's quite obvious that Milia's toolkit involves a lot more than just mash buttons. You I don't kind of have to know her yeah. specials. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. I know that one. Like this move, you, that move used to scare me until I realized that it doesn't activate for after until like. There's one that comes out immediately. The slash version comes out immediately. Wasn't that the one I was doing? Oh. No. Oh. That one comes out immediately, and then there's the heavy one, which you throw on people you've knocked over. I never see anyone use this one for some reason. Uh, I don't know. Maybe you haven't seen a lot of melee players. I don't. I rarely see melee players, and the ones I do see are fucking disgusting. I just realized I can't block this, can I? No, yeah. No, this it's, is a, a it's a, it's a invincible command reversal command grab. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna... S 
when she does that bullshit, the only answer is to get out of the way. Or jump. Or jump. Wait, you can jump that? It's a grab. Oh. You can jump all grabs except uh, Heavenly Potemkin Buster. But that's because that one's an air grab. Oh, and um, I guess Rock the Baby. If they activate it in the air, you can't jump it. Bro, is that a bait? Did you faint just then? Uh, I accidentally input a servant command. Oh. Lol, stop putting yourself in the corner speed run. Let's go. Oh my god, I'm dead. <laughs> I hope Asuka is an interesting character. I'm trying right. to think of fighting game characters I want him to be like. It's getting late, so let's play one more serious match, and we'll call it a night. Okay. Calling it a serious match is putting a lot of stakes on it. Mm. Damn. Nice grab. Maybe I was wrong about you. <sighs> Fuck. 
<laughs> that was the hardest match all night. <laughs> Did you want to do best? Of, do you want you want to do first of three or? Sure. Okay. I know. After playing all those different characters, my inputs are fucked up. No. Yeah. Ah, I almost did it. I almost did the cross up fake out. God damn it, got DP'd. Oh, no, you did not! No, I did it too early. Oh. Uh. To time the iframes to block the whale, you gotta be a lot better. Mm-hmm. Well, you got that far. Um, his Never jump dust is count, counts as a projectile. What the shit? That's wild. Yeah, it has um, projectile properties, which means it never clashes. That's that's kind of wild. Ow. You fucking grabbed me out of 2k. I didn't even know, or maybe, yeah. Well, it was because I, um, even though you blocked it, you weren't as plus as you thought because I, uh, you were in shock state. Mm hmm. Don't, I can't remember the last time I've seen that, though. Mm -hmm. You blocked the first hit of Stun Dipper and then the second one whiffed. And it ends here. I need to do that the more, though. Run up <laughs> close slash. Because that's the other reason run up throw is so strong on Kai is because his um his close slash is really good. Did I really? Oh, no. Oh no, I went for the grab. Who do you think you are I'm run up grabbing? Kai? I'm surprised that exchange just then. Did you just slide me, bruh? Yeah, it's um, it's a good way to beat Dolphin round start is um, 
backdash slide. My god. I mean, slide beats pretty much everything in Maze Kit at round start anyway, but... Yeah. After the third time getting punished for trying to slide underneath that, I should have known. <sighs> the funny thing is that would have worked if you weren't FDing. Because you pushed me back far enough that my um, my sword was disjointed. Bruh. So if you... If you punished, if you hadn't, if I was closer, that would have been a good punish, but because you FD'd, it wasn't a punish anymore. I don't know why I did that. I mean, it worked. You're out of the corner. True. Huh? Oh, that that's missed. not... Yeah, I was trying to do a special and I accidentally jumped instead. But I was still able to do it on the second try, I guess. Oh, two hits. Yeah, it's oh, no. two hits and also you don't have any meter at the start of the round. Okay, I can see what they were saying about you FDing wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm holding it down too much. Well, the thing is, you don't... There's very few characters you want to FD all their attacks. Really? Especially if you're trying to punish. Because mm -hmm. if you push them out of your range, Kai has a slightly longer range than me. So if you push me back so far, you push me back into the range where I can hit you, but you can't hit me. I am lightning. The range, right. Or like um, zoners, you don't just want to FD all the time because they want to be far away. That's like Faust. True. Faust, you don't want to FD all the time because you want to be in close to get him. Damn. Oh, because you command grabbed. Mm-hmm. No way. I always forget to super jump. He's good. You still got beach balled. <sighs> yeah, I think you can super jump the beach ball is what I mean. Oh. But I'm bad at that, which is why I'm bad at gold, Lewis. Because Super Jump is um, Gold Lewis's like best approach tool. Ah, of course, the one time I don't want Vapor Thrust, I get it. Damn it! I missed. The reversal is real. Huh? You can't grab me and block stun. Bruh. I need to stop doing that. <laughs> you know what's fucking me up? Mm. I saw a maid do that once where she did that move, she purple RC'd, and then she ran up and grabbed the person. Clearly they did something else, or the opponent did something else to allow them to be grabbable, and I'm just fucking it up because I'm being a monkey about or it. Or you're not, or you only know half of it. You just know the super into purple RC grab, but there's probably a timing to it. Probably. Because a lot of me, a lot of good maze okay, actually I, don't... I literally can't... <laughs> I can't do any of my special inputs. A lot of good maze 
actually delay add delays into their attacks, I and am I am super not super brain dead. Oh. <sighs> you know why? It's because it's so fucking hot. My neighbors are fighting in their backyard, so I can't have my window open. I've been hearing, seeing a lot of people on Twitter complaining about the heat. Is there a heat wave going on right now? Because it's been raining nonstop. No, it's down just here. like the start of summer. Mm. And my my room is hot just because of how the house is built. Rip. All the heat goes up into my room. Let's see which one of these buttons is. Wait, levitate? What are all these emotion? What are all these emojis? Holy shit! Oh, I was going to emote you before you left. Oh well. Uh, thank you for the games this evening, Steel, and for the Kai Kiske help. I'm still yeah, garb. I mean, I'm surprised you're not doing delayed Gatlings, because I only got to to face you. I only got that good because I learned delayed Gatlings. Uh, honestly, the fact that it took me so long to even try and learn one wall combo or one uh, basic push combo for me is kind of embarrassing on my part. But that's basically, remember that time, that was basically the first time I even tried to learn me, as in, without just pointlessly mashing buttons in uh, training mode. So, I think it's probably time to move on up to learn other game mechan our game mechanics that I've been, for lack of better words, um, ignoring. <laughs> like, for example, I still can't wrap my head around fuzzy anything, anything with the phrase fuzzy attached to it. And that's kind of I'm, important. I'm kind of jealous because you don't know, like, all these things, but you're still, like, better than me. <laughs> I'm not better than you. You surpassed me a while back. Are you kidding? You just went three. You just won that set. Yeah, I won that set about. after how many losses in a row for Kai until I finally just literally said on stream, I fucking hate Kai. I suck against Kai's. And then you were like, here, how about I teach you how to play against Kai's? Because I didn't know half of, I didn't even know a third of those mechanics you were explaining in game over the past hour, including how st how stun work, how um, how uh, stun state works, and all that shit. I literally did not know any of that until tonight's stream. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's what I mean. Like, not even that. Just like, I, f I feel like you're always confused over what's an overhead and what's not. I am and, always confused. Um, I don't memorize these things unless I'm getting uh, losing to the same combo like three times in a row. You At don't some... know like universal game mechanics or like fundamental fighting game stuff. And yeah, I didn't know what that dust was a universal overhead until literally that stream where you, you pointed out that's a universal overhead. <laughs> that's in the tutorial. You mean the tutorial that I only completed maybe a third of and then didn't do the rest because I got frustrated with this one mission. It's in world one of the tutorial. I don't, I legit don't remember. <laughs> I probably did it like, I probably did it on day one of the game coming out, or first coming out, and then forgot it immediately. <laughs> you know, now, there's a universal in Idol Showdown, right? Uh, I do now. It's MH, right? Yeah, I don't know how you just like. I didn't do the play the tutorial for the longest time in, uh, I don't show down either, even though it was extremely basic compared to Strive. You know, I kind of hate you sometimes for Why? conversations like these. Why? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not shit posting. I'm legit that ignorant. I'm that stupid. I'm legit, legit that stupid. Yeah, you're that ignorant, but you're still putting up better results than me, just in general. It's probably. It could be the Goku versus Vegeta thing, where Vegeta is. Goku is fucking dumb and Vegeta is fucking smart and Vegeta's problem is that he thinks too much and Goku just acts entirely on instinct. But he also has a plot contrivance of fucking getting revived but with the Dragon Balls like a dozen, half a dozen times. So that's not really a plus. That's just plot armor. And in my case, it's just... I don't even want to... I'm not even going to go use the whole oh, well, you see, fundamentals always succeed over combos because... No, that's the thing is you don't know fundamentals. I don't know fundamentals. I don't know combos either. I literally that's the, the only... conversation we're having is that I learned a bunch of fundamentals to only just now get to where you are. 
I guess the only thing I really do know how to do if I'm thinking and not being a shithead or not being angry or not paying attention to chat or actually focusing on the game is okay, block, block, block. Here's a here's a fucking here's a fucking two milliseconds of frame where I can actually retaliate and then top punish. And to be fair, it works in Tekken. Tekken, half, the, half of Tekken is literally, and I know some Tekken fanboys are probably going to complain about this, but, but they know it's true. Half of Tekken is just blocking, waiting for an opening, and then attacking. That's all it is. That's try all fighting games. If that would be, if you, if you compare Dark Souls to fighting games like that, that's when I, that's when I would agree. I mean, yes. Dark Soul are well, not even I don't even know why they call it, say this is Dark Souls when this is pretty much all games that are like that that have attack patterns. You fucking fury is like this. You you dodge, you dodge, you block, you block, you parry, you parry. You find a moment where the boss is vulnerable. You spam your be at your bread and butter, and you just keep doing it and doing it and doing it and do it until it's rough memory. But um, no, uh, I guess. I don't know how to explain it. King Kuma fight plays this way too. He doesn't lab. He doesn't play. Co he doesn't do combos. He doesn't really watch vids. All he does is goes on balls deep, head no thoughts, head empty, and he plays me like he does or like he does. And I'm pretty sure that he's exaggerating. I'm fairly sure he does practice and other shit, and he's just downplaying himself because that's what me players like to do a lot: downplay themselves. But um. I don't fucking know, dude. Uh, I can't stomach this conversation anymore. Even with your help, you st I still only won on technicality. And also, let's be honest, the what last... What do you mean on a technicality? Because the last fight that we had, you were partially distracted. And you even were if... We were paying equal amounts of attention. Eh, that's debatable. It could have gone either way is what I'm saying. <sighs> all right this conversation's going nowhere <laughs> sorry is there um let's look for someone to raid tonight uh one person playing dnf duel which is unfortunate uh hungry's clone is writers listed as there i wonder if this is i forgot why i added this person oh they're playing tears of the kingdom um they just didn't change their category Power Nelson's playing Street Fighter 2? That's something you don't see every day. They're playing Street Fighter 3, not 2. They just forgot to... They just forgot to uh, change the thing to... We'll go ahead and raid Power Nelson tonight. Alright chat, thank you for coming to tonight's stream. I can't guarantee that I cannot guarantee that we'll be streaming on Wednesday. We'll see how I'm feeling. I once again do not have a schedule or have any intention of making a schedule this week. Uh thank you for stopping by. Tonight's raid message is gonna be uh Lo Makoto Pog because Aaron Nelson's currently playing Makoto. And then I'll see y'all later. Have a good one. Mm -hmm. Let's go to you. Bye bye. Oh, the smell of the